Hey, welcome back to the channel. Quick video today. Uh, I've seen some interest lately in pitchers and other just positional players. So I thought I'd take the time today to go over the different types of pitchers and what each type kind of does. So on the offensive side of things, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You have your infielders, first base, second base, short, third, outfielders, catcher, etc., etc. But baseball nine, they have the pitchers split up um, into some categories, and we'll be going over that. You can see in the screen here the pitcher specialization. So we have starting pitchers to begin with. They're put in a five-man rotation, as you can see here, and. After a pitcher plays a game, they take a day off, at least one day off, so they're on the rest day. And during that rest day, they won't be able to play at all. Uh, you can see this by going into your lineup. It'll show pitchers on rest. It'll show how many days left until they can be played again. And yeah, as it says, after starting in a game, the pitcher must rest for at least three games. And only one starter can pitch in a game. So unlike you know, playoff baseball, if we start a starting pitcher, they don't do very well. We want to put in someone else. We can't pick from our starters. They have to be either relievers or closers or other pitchers. And the second category is relief pitchers. So each relief pitcher has a different role, uh, and they are broken down in baseball nine, specialized, you could call it. Um, and it says the specializations have a big impact on the outcome of quick result games. So these are the games that you simulate or skip over with your stamina or your star points. Um, we'll go through them here. Primary relief comes in when the team is leading or trailing by a few runs. So this is your typical reliever. Um, if the games, I guess they say if it's close within a few runs, I'd say maybe anything under than four, maybe three to four runs either way. So you're up by three or down by three uh, could be considered a close game. So if you need to sub in for your starter, a primary relief pitcher will come in. And this is just for quick result games. If you're playing manually on your own, you can obviously pick whoever you want to come into the game. The next type setup man comes in when the team is leading usually in the eighth inning for an inning before the closer takes the mound. So the setup man right here sets up the closer. So they will only come in automatically when the team is leading towards the end of the game to set up your closer. So the sequence could go something like your starter goes six or seven innings. Let's say seven. Just kidding. Let's say six innings. Let's say your starter goes six innings. You want to put in a reliever. A re reliever goes in. The game is close. And then you're going to put the setup man maybe in the eighth for so any reason. For some reason, if your reliever is not doing well, and then maybe your closer comes in. Uh, Mop-up relief is when the team trails by a big margin. So you may have seen this. Actually, my, my gameplay video last Sunday. I was down 6-0. Uh, my starting pitcher wasn't doing very well, so they put in the mop-up. Uh, you know, the computer thought this game is over. You know, no, let's not waste the stamina or health of our relievers or our closers. We're going to put the mop-up man in. He's just there to finish out the game. Um, it's, it's a loss. So they come in when your team's down big. And the last category, swing man, when the starting pitcher conceded many early runs. So this could be a situation where we're still in the third, second, third, fourth inning, still very early on in the game, and your starter just, he's not having a good day. You know, maybe he was out too late last night, whatever happened to him, he's not having a good day. He's given up three home runs in the first um, you're like, we need to get somebody in, but we don't want to use a reliever, um, not the setup man because, you know, we're not late into the game, maybe not the mop up relief, we're not that dire yet, you know, it's not a huge blowout, but we want to put someone in, so we're going to put the swing man in. 
And lastly, it's the closer. So usually this is pretty um, self-explanatory in a safe situation to try to close out the game, get you a win uh, later on in the game. They usually won't have you know as much health or stamina. They're only in there for a little bit at a time. So I do want to work on that as well. Starting pitchers will usually have the most stamina and health to give you a good six, seven, eight innings. Um, and when you put in relievers and especially your closers, they're not going to be able to go in for much longer than maybe three innings max. They're going to get tired. If the game drags on or if you're giving up a lot of runs, you're going to have to swap these out uh, pretty often and consistently. So I know we talked a lot about setting your batting lineup and the order of your batters, but this is also something important that we could consider when choosing our pitcher and our pitching staff and how um, that's set up as well. Who do you want where and what players you want to upgrade. So we see here, switching to the lineup tab, we have batters and pitchers. We have our five starters up on the top. They're all Gronk, starting with Gold 68 Gronk. He's starting, so this tells you the next game I jump into, the 68 Gold overall Gronk will be starting the game. And the game after that, we'll move down the line, and we see the Silver Gronks, 62, 63, 62 overalls right here, um, they're on rest. So they pitch rest minus one, so he's still on one day rest. The next Gronk, rest minus two, he's on two days rest. The next one, three days rest. So under no circumstances can we play them. I don't think you can, even if you try to use a conditioning drink, you still will not be able to play them. And then going into the reliever roles, we have our primary reliever. There's two of them. So these are, in most situations where the game's not too far out of hand, we just need someone else to come in. Maybe the starter's getting tired. Um, situations like that. We have a 70 Gronk and a 59 Will Smith Silver. Setup man, as we saw earlier, is going to set up the closer. So we see um, later in the game. We're going to put him in for a little bit and then put the closer in to close out the game. We have swing. So jumping back to this early in the game, we need to sub someone out. Not necessarily the mop up, the swing. We'll put him in. Hopefully the hope is they can do well enough to hold on um, and let our offense have a chance at a comeback. And the mop up is obviously the game's way out of hand. And the closers, the closer coming in, try to get a save, secure the win. So here I have it set up where the mop up is my worst pitcher on the roster because it situations like these aren't very important. Unlike someone like a closer or a primary relief pitcher, mop up duty, it's it doesn't matter if he's bad. We're assuming the game's already out of hand. Unlike that game we had on Sunday where I was able to come back down 6-0 with the mop-up in. Um, we're not looking to win those games. We're just trying to get out alive, make sure no one gets injured, things like that. So mop-up, I have the default bronze or the bronze. He hasn't been upgraded to silver yet. And after that, I do like switching between upgrading some of my starting pitchers, which are doing the bulk of the work. Um... I'm, I'm kind of torn in between having all starter upgrades first because if your starter is not going to hold up, they're playing most of the time. And if the starter is not going to hold up, then, you know, even if you have a super good reliever, he's not going to be able to be in the game for, for a long time. They have lower health and they get tired quickly. So I like upgrading my starters. And then after that, uh, the primary reliever I think is important because they're kind of the first person you turn to when you need to take your starter out. So maybe upgrade one of him and then maybe get a second re primary reliever upgraded as well. After that, I would probably go for the closer. Uh, you don't want a lot of blown saves. Definitely don't want your worst pitcher and your roster being the closer. You've worked so hard. We're in the ninth. You know, it's a hard fought game. And he blows the save. You lose it in the ninth. You hate to see that. Um, after that, you know, maybe set up to swing just because set up. I, I kind of say they're kind of tied because set up, you're setting up your closer. 
um, which is kind of important, but also swing if you need to take your starter out early on because they've given up too many runs. You probably want someone that can try to hold down the fort before it gets into mop-up duty uh, to give you a chance. Um, but those are kind of interchangeable just based on the resources you have. So this was a quick summary, and I do kind of want to comment on the fact that a lot of this is, like the game mentioned, it's important for games that you are quick play. So the simulated games, because those are the games where the computer decides everything, right? You're simulating the game based on your team, your overall, and what it does. So this is telling the computer exactly what to do when you're, on, when you're not playing. So if I'm playing here, just for an example, right? My starter is going to give up easy, easy uh, single, base hit first uh, batter of the game. So I can say like, okay, I don't want him. Um, he's going to blow the lead for me. What, whatever the case is, I want to put in my reliever. I'm going straight for 59 Will Smith. That's my man. I think he, you know, he 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 can do it. So I can choose that, but when the computer is simulating the game, the computer doesn't know that I want Will Smith, right? They have to know that I've designated a swing reliever to put in there, or else, you know, if the game didn't have that, it would just be any random reliever on the bench. So it's, I do see where the game is coming from, how it's important to distinguish the different roles of your pitchers, especially your relievers. So now in the second, Let's say that we want to go now. Let's just pretend, you know, this is the eighth. So maybe I want to put in my closer now. So we're, we're ending the game now, putting my closer in, trying to close this game out. The game needs to know that that's your closer, or else they'll throw some random pitcher in. So this is important. Like I said, you don't want the game to randomly put your recruit, the pitcher you haven't had enough, haven't had chance to upgrade yet in... Um, when they should be mop-up duty, you don't want to put them in as a closer or a setup or any other situations. You want them probably as the mop-up where it doesn't matter as much. So once again, this is important. I think a lot of the times we kind of overlook the computer simulations and how we have that set up. Um, and that's an important part of the game because it it's very hard playing 100 games by yourself. It's a lot easier. I always recommend using up your stamina every time you log in when you have a chance to get through those games try to get through those seasons farming coins gems um other xp drinks and skill tokens all that good stuff a lot it comes a lot easier when you can simulate so to be able to have the best chance at winning those games you want to make sure everything's set up as best as possible and pitching is half the game so even if you have your lineup set fully maxed out, perfect potential, it's optimized. If your pitchers aren't optimized, you're just kind of putting them in willy-nilly, not really giving uh, any thought to them. Uh, it could be a reason why you're losing a lot of games, a lot of the simulated games. So this went on a, longer, a lot longer than I thought this was, but I thought this would be a good conversation over the pitching pitcher types especially the differences between all the relievers so if you do have any other questions about that and how you can uh, set up your pitchers and that lineup let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and thought it was helpful give this a like always uh, helps out with the channel stay subscribed as always but thanks for watching we'll see you this weekend and peace out